Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this week's tutorial is going to focus on to the second part of our match report that we're going to be creating. In the first part of the series, we looked at loading data into Power BI and how you transform it and also create your relationships. This part of the report series is going to look at creating a little uh, setup page, which will have your slices and that kind of thing that will then filter your actual report. Before we get started, if you've liked this video or any of my other videos on the channel, uh, yeah, please hit like below, which will help me out a great lot. Uh, deal with uh, being viewed on YouTube, uh, but also hit subscribe so then you're notified of any new videos that are posted each week. So this week, as I said, we're going to go through creating a setup page. On the setup page, we're going to have a few things. We're going to have first these slices, and these slices are going to be team names, also the match name, so I'm going to create a, a column that's going to have the date and the home and away teams. And then we're going to also have maybe a match date, I'm not sure yet, I'm just going to think about that one as we go through this. Uh, we're also going to have some logos, which we're going to add in using our logo URL and a custom visualization. We'll add a score uh, card, which will just be a simple measure that I'll show you how to create. And then we're going to do the same thing and add our location, kickoff, and referee for the game. We're going to do that all on this simple setup page right here that I've created already. And um, just as a follow on from the last data load video, I've made a few little changes. As you can see here on the right, I've changed the names of my tables to just events, matches, and teams, which is a lot easier than having stats bomb at the start as well. Uh, in my event table, I have also removed some of the columns you'll see that here there's a lot less than what there was before um, and i've also filtered a few extra things all right so let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose team name here and we're just going to drag this to the canvas uh, default it'll create a table what we're going to do is just change that to a slicer so now we have this easy slicer. I'm going to keep this as a list. It's a little bit easier to work with than just including a drop down. So we just create a little bit bigger, go into our customization. And what we're going to do is change items, just make them a little bigger. Let's go 14. I'm just going to change it to black. I also like to just add a title. I'm just going to call that team selection. Again, let's just align that to the middle. We'll make it a little bit bigger than now. Our item text let's just go 16 and then we're just going to remove the slicer header there we go one other thing we can do is we can always set this I think it's in selection just to be a single select because we only want one selection here we don't want multiple teams to be selected so now if we choose this we can just click the team name and it'll select a team so that's easy the next one we're going to do is we're going to use matches and we are going to filter by season name as well. So let's grab that. We're going to add that there. Same thing. Change a few things here. So make this 14. Black. Selection controls to single. Turn off the slicer header and we're going to add a title and we're just going to call it season selection. There we go. Add that in the middle change it to 16. There we go. And we're going to make that this season just passed. Easy as that. All right. And then the next thing we're going to create a calculated column. So for this is going to help us to create or find our matches and it's going to have three things with it. So let's call this here match name. What we're going to do is because it's a column, we don't need to do anything. We just need to find the columns that we want to have. So let's go match date. Here we go. And then to create this into a full text string, you just go and like what we would in Excel. And we're going to add a hyphen. And then we're going to use home team name here. And then we can do the same thing with and quotation marks. So I'm going to put the verse rather than a hyphen 
and then we're going to put a away team name. All right. So now that we have that, we can drag that to the canvas. And we can create that as a slicer as well. So let's do the same things we've done already. Make this slicer text a bit bigger. Black. Remove the slicer header. And we can also make this single select as well. One of the first things you would have noticed once I hit single select is that it's filtered our season selector. So we're going to sort that out in just a second. We'll just go match select here for the title. Add in the middle and just slightly bigger. There we go. So here, when we choose these, it's going to change our season name because of what we've got selected here. But we can edit that by changing edit interactions. And so now our season selector will always appear. Let's edit it there as well. Okay, so let's just... There we go. That should be about right. I'm going to do those. I'm going to turn off uh, our interactions for now. Okay. So now we have those three things. Those are going to filter our data set. It would be nice and easy to be able to choose our game by our team. So if we were to change, say, to Brighton, we'll find all their games in a given season. Like that. We can choose Chelsea. Same thing. Okay, let's just go back to Arsenal, and what we're going to do first is we're going to add the logos. Oh, not that. Let's go here. So this is my custom visual. Uh, it's here. It's called Image by Cloud Scope. This was originally on the App Source Store, but unfortunately they've changed the way that they have uh, sort of certified visuals on the store, and so the creators of this visual have decided to remove it which is unfortunate, but they've also allowed you to email them to get the file. I have that file, so if anyone's looking for it, just please let me know and I can forward it on to you. So all we need for this is we just need to add a logo URL. So here, as we've got Arsenal into our logo URL, we can see that appear here. So let's remove the background and the image fit we're going to click to contain. So there we go. So now we have that we have a logo for our team that we have selected, but that's not necessarily what we want here. We want to have our home and away team, so if I was to click the second game down, we'd want this to be Manchester United. So what we can do for that is we can create a visual, uh, sorry, a measure to filter our team list. So let's just do that quickly. I'm going to use my external tool, so I'm going to go to Tabulate Editor. It's going to bring up our window here like this. I'm going to click Tables, and then let's click Teams. I'm going to right-click and click Create New Measure. I'm going to call this Logo underscore Home. Oops. I'm going to change it down here instead. Logo underscore Home. There we go. So what I'm going to do is go var team equals min. Uh, I'm going to go matches. Okay, we can find this here from our table, so we can go matches, uh, home team name, like that, and then we can go var df equals filter, and we're going to filter teams, our teams table, and we're going to go uh, team name, we actually need to go all here, Name equals team, just like that. And then we're going to go return. We're going to use min x df, and all we're going to drag is logo URL to here. So there, that should filter. I'm going to hit just to format our our DAX here. That's going to filter our logo for the home team. So if we hit save, we're going to see it appear here in our field. So let's go back to Power BI Desktop. I'm going to drag logo home to our image URL field. And there we go. So if we click Manchester United, now we have United's logo. Easy as that. If we go back to here, we're going to just duplicate logo home and we're going to call it logo away. Change. 
team, away team, and hit save as well. So if we copy our logo, and then just drag this, add in logo away, there we go. Easy. So now we have our two logos which have appeared, and so now let's just add in another card. So this card, what we're going to do is we're going to add the team names using a really simple uh, measure as well. So what we can do is just go new measure here. We'll do this one without using tabular editor. I'm just going to go call it teams. We can go here. We're going to go min again. Let's make that capitals. Uh, we want home team first. So let's do that. And we're going to go and quotation verse and away min away team name. Just like that. Hit enter. We can find that here. Drag that to our field. There we go. So let's just change some of these things. So we're going to put this down to say 25. Already black. Just remove the category label and the background. There we go. Let's just copy that down one. So we've already got the formatting. And what we'll do this time is we'll take the same thing, but we'll use tabular editor. And we can just add a new measure here and let's call it score. I'm going to go min, home score. This time we'll just use a hyphen and away score. Oops, we need to add our aggregation here to so find it because it's a measure. Let's format our backs, hit save. So now if we come back to Power BI, This is saved. Actually, it doesn't seem to have saved properly yet. Let's hit save here. Ah, there we go. So now, let's go back to our fields, drag this into score. There we go. So there we have our game, Arsenal versus West Ham United, and the score, which ends up 2-1 to Arsenal. If we change, we get to see that change as well. Simple. All right. So let's do the same thing now, but let's add in a couple of points of information around the match itself in terms of the location, the stadium name, that kind of thing. So let's go back to tabular edit again. Let's go create new measure, let's just call this one stadium. This time we're going to write in stadium first. Then we'll put a space and this time we're just going to go min stadium name. So let's find that in the fields that we have on the left here. So here, yeah, stadium name. All right, do that. Let's save that. Let's add in the referee as well. So, referee. And, and this time we're going to find referee name. We need to add our aggregation. There we go. Save. That's there as well. And last, let's add kickoff time. Let's do that, kick off, time. So this one's just going to kick off. And then we just find kick off. There we go. Hit save to that as well. All right, so here in the first one, let's just put in our stadium. Meadow Park, all right. Let's just copy that. And we 
gonna add in our kickoff time. And then we can lastly add in our referee. So if we were to change our slices here, we can see these all change. Let's just make these a little smaller text sizes. We don't want them to be too stand out here. As I've got three selected, it's a little slow to change. Let's just go 18. There we go. So there we have our, our values across the top telling us a little bit of information about the game all selected using these three slices. As we move forward, what we can do is we can just copy this whole page. And we can do that now. We can right click down here and just hit duplicate page. And let's call this page report. And we'll call this page one setup. So now what we have is we have our slices selected. What we can do is we can have these slices uh, synced across pages. So let's go here um, and just try and find this here. I think it's in view. There we go, sync slices. So we want these to sync across both pages. So we hit them here. And then what we can do is we can also hide them here on our report. go. So now our slices are hidden. If we were to change a value here, let's just go back to the first game on the list with Arsenal versus West Ham. Arsenal versus West Ham. So there we have it. That's the beginning of our, our match report. So today what we've done is we've created a little setup page with three slicer values to select our team, our season and our match. We've used those to find our home and away team, to then uh, add our logos at the top. We've added our match name, so our Arsenal versus West Ham United and the score. And then we've put in a little bit of information around the stadium, the kickoff time, and the referee. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, using Tabular Editor and Power BI to create a little match report setup page. If you did like this video, please hit like, and if you want to find out when new videos are posted, please hit subscribe below as well. If you really did enjoy this uh, video as well, please feel free to share it on your social media platforms to help me get uh, more views and help me see, be seen by other people. And they might find these videos interesting as well. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, I hope to see you next time where we will try to we'll use data to power our performance. Thanks.